All right, what's up, everyone? So, just wanted to do a follow-up on the on the first part of pre-40 tan uh, drain tanking. Now we're gonna do after 40 once you get dark pack. Um, so once you get dark pack level 40, um, you can choose between demonology destruction. You can do whatever tree you want. Um, it's not gonna really matter much. Um, there has been consensus on. Uh, Destruction being a bit better since you can get uh, shadow burn and your kill time as well as or as well as bane uh, Your kill time and your efficiency becomes a bit better than if you just go demonology and get more stamina uh, Fell intellect and improve health stone So I'm gonna do an overview of the rotation now um, It's pretty much the same um, You can weave in some immolates as well. I know last uh, video some people were saying well, why don't you use immolate as much and again It's it's really that goes down to the range of the two um Spells, so destruction spells are 30, and all your affliction spells are 36. So my rotation is still mostly Curse of Agony, Life and Life, and then I'll Corruption. I'll still do the, I'll still do the tap, and then I'll Drain. Um, my Drain does a lot more damage now, and it's a lot more uh, mana efficient, so I'll usually Drain more than once. On my other video, I was Draining once or twice max. Now I'll Drain a lot more, so I uh, Drain Life. Uh, that is. So you pretty much want to keep repeating that. Um, this guy's a caster, so I'll show you a rotation with casters here. I'm not even going to put, I'm going to immolate. I'll curse a tongue because I don't want him to do anything. Uh, it casts on me, then I'll drain. So it's kind of a bit different. You don't have to use Curse of Agony. You can switch, switch it up. So this is just an example of things can change depending on the, the type of mob. Uh, so this way he does less damage. Never seen that move yet. Um, and then the use of dark pack. So dark pack, um, in my opinion, is best used in between pulls when you're running between mobs. Um, here I'm, I'm running low on mobs because there's some alliance killing here, but it's really good in between mobs. So once you're done fighting, just dark pack, spam dark pack while you're between mobs. Um, that's, that's my opinion, the best way to do it. And I'll try to find some more so we can keep this going. Here I'll do some more kills with these things. Don't really need them, but I'll show you anyway. So it's just an example of immolate. So immolate, I'll automatically pull aggro. Um, the rotation with immolate is usually uh, immolate, curse of agony into corruption. That's as, that's as much dots as you want. Then you'll tap and then drain. Um, this way, uh, this guy's really low level compared to me right now, but um, I'll show an example with the rotation I was doing before. Get to marks range. I'll use corruption. Or sorry, Curse of Agony, Life and Life, and then Corruption last. I'll tap, and I'm still kiting now. I haven't taken any damage yet. My pet, my succubus tanked a little bit, and now I'm ar he's already almost half health. I haven't taken any damage compared to if I did Immolate. I would have been a bit closer. I would have got the aggro right away, and uh, it's not what I would have wanted. So I don't know. My my play style fits um, using the kite method a bit more. Uh, I'm less of a fan of Immolate due to the range. Um, but again, I do I do use it often with casters. Uh, but again, it's, it's really your your preference on how you wanna. Both will work. Um, the, the DPS is pretty much similar. The kill time is pretty similar as well. Um, it's all about the maximizing of your uh, your resources, though. You'll definitely take more damage using immolate, uh, unless you're an amazing kiter. Um, no matter what, you're going to take more damage with Immolate since you're getting aggro right away. Your Succubus will rarely take hits unless you send her in way before and she's getting pre-aggro. Um, another thing with Dark Pack um, that's really good to know and to think about is to take off Lash of Pain and Keybind it to something. So you can make a macro for Lash of Pain um, and you just got to go cast, pet, dot succubus you're, you're using your succubus and then your lash of pain um, what this does is it takes a, you take it off auto cast so that technically your your pets uh, mana per five rule your five second rule on your pet will um, will not like trigger because she's not auto casting stuff so whenever she does dark pack she's she'll always be regenning um, I still do use it often um, whenever I I'm not dark packing a lot, um, or I don't, or, or if she's full mana, you might as well use it. Uh, but overall, you, you don't need to have it on auto cast. You can use it yourself, and then dark pack between, and then her mana regen will be uh, at its highest efficiency. 
So that last pull was with a Malate. I did take a bit of damage, but that was a pretty good one because I did, I did do. So let's see, 156 DPS on the last pull. Let's do the kiting. It's a pretty fast kill. We'll tap and we'll drain life. So this was with Curse of Agony into Siphon Life into Corruption. And I'm doing a bit more DPS. My kill time might have been a bit slower, but I'm pretty much about the same. So we'll do another because this guy's a caster. I'm not liking these casters. Use this guy since he's not a caster. So Immolate into Curse of Agony, Corruption, tight a bit, and then I'll drain. And drain again. Hopefully I don't get pushed back. I got pushed back a lot here, so I'm, I might as well finish it off. So. so I used my Shadow Trance on that one. Um, I didn't want to drain life again. It would have been wasn't really worth it. So again, you can play around with what you're using, how you're using your spells. Um, definitely download a damage meter if you don't have one. Keep track of which, uh, how much damage you're doing and how much, if you have uh, the add-on for the timer, I've, you, can, uh, you can use a script for it to, to bring it up. I don't have one right now, but uh, keep track of your kill times and how much, uh, how much you're getting for your XP per hour when you're grinding. And that'll definitely help you out with uh, what rotation is best. And my pet will not go to this guy. Very strange. So here, here I'm literally low mana. I didn't really do a good job at, uh, at tapping. Why can I not loot this guy? So I did a bad job, but I can I can use my dark pack onto my pull, my next pull. So I'll I'll send my pet in. I won't uh, do anything. One thing that dark pack does generate threat. So you got to watch out for that. Um, you, you can get threat off your pet if you if you just miss some attacks. You, you will get threat either way. So here I'm only putting two dots up. I didn't even tap. I was just full mana. I was a, and then I just gonna drain. There's many ways to do it. Once you get dark pack, you you pretty much how you play how you want to play it. Um, here you could tap if you want less health, um, and you start off with two dots and a drain without a tap, um, and then you dark pack after a pull. It's really you can do it how you want. Um, it all depends on. Sometimes you get a new rank of uh, immolate. Your immolate is super strong at that point. You might as well use some immolate. Um, I just got a new corruption and a new uh, siphon life, so these two are really strong for me right now. Um, immolate's a starting to fall off since my last rank was around 42 so keep track of what your latest ranks are for your spells um, and from there decide what your rotation for your best damage is so that's uh that's it for this one if you guys have any more questions shoot them in the comments if you like the video give me a like and uh thanks for stopping in cheers